Hi there, and thank you for viewing this brief presentation brought to you by the UNT International Student and Scholar Services and the UNT Career Center. We want to share with you some updates and resources for international students. Hi everyone, my name is Lauren Jacobson Bridges and I'm the Director of International Student and Scholar Services here at UNT. And our office, some people call us ISS for International Student and Scholar Services, we are here to support international students with their immigration status questions while they're enrolled um, and even after at UNT. So there are several ways you can get connected with us. You can schedule advising appointments to discuss different immigration topics, including off-campus work authorizations, making plans for your work in the United States after you graduate, um, or to just discuss options for additional uh, degree programs at UNT. We also maintain our website and we update it quite frequently. We currently have an FAQ specifically for COVID-19. Um, we have a presentation specifically on optional practical training, which is work authorization after you graduate. And we have curricular practical training or CPT FAQs. Here is a screenshot of our website and our link is listed at the top. You just click on our menu for international students and scholars, you'll be able to see all of the different web pages we maintain, including how to schedule an appointment with an immigration advisor. So our office, we offer quite a few services. We can do one-on-one -on -one immigration advising with you. Um, I mentioned how you can make an appointment with an advisor in the previous slide. We provide immigration updates, so it's important you're always checking your my.unt.edu email address because we send any immigration updates through that page. Um, we can assist you with off-campus work authorization. International Affairs offers cultural events, and we're still offering various cultural events via Zoom um, during the COVID-19 pandemic. We hope to be your one-stop shop. Um, when you have questions, you can come to us first, and if you're not really sure where to go, we can redirect you to the office that can best assist you. And every semester, we bring in immigration attorneys to um, prevent, present seminars on options after graduation, different visa types, things like that. And they'll sometimes even do one-on-one -on -one free consultations with the immigration attorneys. So um, keep a, an eye on your my.unt.edu, uh, your email address through UNT, your eagle mail. And um, we send all of our updates or changes through there, including announcements about different events and um, seminars. So for COVID-19, a lot of things have, have changed. Some things are staying the same. When we're talking about employment in the United States, there have been no special rules made for COVID-19. So the same work rules apply. Um, optional practical training has all the same rules. Curricular practical training has all the same rules. There is something called off-campus economic hardship, which is available to students who have been enrolled in the United States for at least one year, but they can apply to work off campus just for some extra um, monetary support, but it does have a fee to apply for it. It takes a long time. We really don't recommend using this unless it is absolutely your last resort. And on-campus work, generally there hasn't been any change to those rules. You know, you're allowed to work up to 20 hours a week on campus for UNT while you're enrolled and up to 40 hours a week in the summer and winter breaks if you are not enrolled in classes. But we did receive clarification that working remotely from home is okay. So if you've been hired by a UNT department and they've asked you to do to work remotely during the COVID-19 crisis, we've received permission that that is okay. For enrollment, there have been special allowances for online classes in spring only. This might change in the summer or fall semesters, so make sure um, that you're checking your email um, because we will send any updates for these special enrollment allowances uh, to your email address. And if you have any questions about what might or might not be allowed for your enrollment or your work authorization, feel free to email us. So how do you stay in touch with us? I mentioned emailing us. Here is our email address. It is internationaladvising at unt.edu. 
We also have virtual advising hours, um, four days a week. You can schedule your appointment online via our website. Um, and we are open. We're, our, our office on campus is open um, from Monday to Friday, 8 to 5 p.m. However, uh, we are not open to drop off documents or things like that. We are only open to pick up documents. If you need a new immigration document from us, you can pick it up once it's ready from our office. And you can give us a call. Um, you can call during virtual advising hours to talk with an advisor or um, any time between eight to five to speak with someone at our front desk. Um, but we are located in Marcus Hall, Suite 110. We are observing social distancing guidelines just like the rest of campus. So we're asking that you only come one person at a time to not come in groups with friends um, as our office is quite small. Uh, but we're open and um, you can get in touch with us through any one of these methods. Thank you, Lauren. Uh, I want to introduce myself. My name is Amy Hicks. I am a career coach in the Career Center. We are here to help you. We want to help you find employment and achieve your career goals. We do offer full service online support whenever you need it. We have call, uh, the different colleges have a designated career coach that have experience working in your industry. They partner with um, employers in your area of interest and they can meet with you and help you with items like student employment, job and internship searches, uh, making sure you're prepared for networking opportunities and your interviews. So there are many ways you can engage with us. Our main office is um, in Sage Hall. We have a full, full service website. You can email us or call us at any time for additional information. And we do have daily drop-in quick chat hours and that you do not need an appointment for. And you can meet with a career personnel by Zoom or in person. So these are some of the services that we offer. We um, have uh, the opportunity to assist you with documents as well as meeting with you to help you network, learn about employer opportunities, career fairs, anything that you might need career-wise, please do not hesitate to reach out, reach out to your career coach and see how we can help you. We are operating in a virtual career fair environment for spring 21. So we do have our career fairs up and going. Employers are ready and working with us in a virtual environment. So you can connect with us using Handshake. It is very easy to apply for jobs and internships and sign up for employer networking events using Handshake. And then we use Navigate to set up a career coaching session. So I wanted to share um, a few things that you can do to help uncover opportunities, expand your network, prepare applications, and practice for interviews. We really recommend that you take action as early as possible in your program so that you can be more informed of your options. Having polished documents really can help increase your chances of being contacted, of um, having an interview offered, we will help, uh, you know, writing with your resume and and sharing information that employers are giving us feedback on of what kind of documents that they're looking for and how to prepare those and what kind of questions that you may be asked in an interview. So it's really important to uh, to sh highlight your relevant and transferable skills that you have gained through employment through your academic experiences, through any volunteer work, we want to help you highlight those. Networking is critical, and there are many ways to make connections in your areas of interest. Glassdoor, LinkedIn, and Indeed should be used to create a job and internship search profile. Glassdoor is a website we recommend that can be used for research, reading reviews to learn more about a company's culture, the application and hiring process, interview, interview uh, procedures, salaries, and job and company details. So we highlight uh, LinkedIn a lot. We de definitely recommend you use LinkedIn for networking. You can add people that work with companies that you're interested in or have positions that you would like to do also into your network. 
You can add faculty, fellow students, and mentors. And you can even send messages expressing your interest and highlighting your experience. You can find UNT alum who have graduated from your program and see where they have gotten jobs or further experiences. We have a mentoring system called Mean Green Mentors where you can connect with a professional in your area of interest. We also recommend staying involved with your department um, in events, student groups, student organizations, and faculty. Um, always seeking research opportunities if that's applicable or campus employment to gain work experience. Handshake will host career events for international students and we will um, help make you aware of companies that are accepting OPT, CPT, or sponsorship. We also recommend really understanding your degree plan and the guidelines by regular meet, regularly meeting with your academic advisor and an international advisor. Knowing what career paths graduates from your program can take is very helpful. The website ONET is a good place for addi additional research, um, being informed of credentialing, licensure, and continuing education that could be restrictive. So you can meet with a career coach for guidance with any of these steps or specific questions that you have about your situation. Reading as much as you possibly can about different companies will help you prepare for any conversation or interaction with a potential employer. Again, using Glassdoor is one website that you can utilize to check out reviews of the company, reported interview information, and questions. Please make sure to check out our website to see all the ways you can connect with us and all the resources that we have for you. Uh, we look forward to working with you. Thank you so much for viewing this presentation. Bye for now from the UNT International Student and Scholar Services and the UNT Career Center.